In December of 2020, Mr. Beast would revolutionize the idea of YouTube content creator businesses, as he would announce his own fast food restaurant, Mr. Beast Burger. However, many people reported a subpar experience at Mr. Beast Burger. And so, because of this, Mr. Beast would begin to complain just like everyone else, and he would sue the company behind Mr. Beast Burger. However, that's not where the story would end because then that company would also sue Mr. Beast for apparently breaking his contract. So now, Mr. Beast is trapped in this $100 million lawsuit. Anyway, this video was streamed live, so if you guys want to catch my live streams, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Mr. Beast is suing Mr. Beast Burger. Now, I know what you're thinking. What? What do you mean he's suing Mr. Beast Burger? Isn't he Mr. Beast Burger? Like, isn't that his own company? Why would he be suing himself? Well, it's because it's not actually his own company. You see, Mr. Beast partnered with another company to create Mr. Beast Burger because like obviously he's never done that before he, he never done something like that before he, he doesn't know how to make restaurants so he partnered with this like this ghost company this ghost kitchen company that you know makes these like online ghost kitchens that basically they're other restaurants that convert into different other restaurants so let's say you have like a kfc or something that also doubles as like uh like popeyes or or mr bob's chicken or something if you're on doordash by the way they're everywhere you'll you, you'll see the ghost kitchens everywhere they're basically different restaurants that act as other restaurants and it's mostly like an online thing as you probably know mr beast burger has had a ton of quality control issues and you know there has been some positives that have come out of mr beast burger especially during the the pandemic when you know restaurants and making food and all that type of stuff was just kind of hard on people and people aren't making as much money i'm pretty sure mr beast burger ended up raising over like a hundred million dollars for the small businesses that were you know taking part in this ghost kitchen thing and you know converting into beast burgers to help mr beast or whatever and it seemed like a good thing the only problem was because all these kitchens differed so much is mr beast had no way to check the quality control that's why so many people complained about mr beast burger they're like this shit sucks it's awful it's raw it's not cooked fully it's gross people got food poisoning people got sick and honestly it made mr beast look really bad like what the heck are you doing selling this shit like pe like people are fans of you you know they, they go in and they buy the burgers expecting it to be good expecting it to be edible expecting to not get poisoned from the mr Mr. Beast Burger. But, but but that's what happened. And so because of that, Mr. Beast is suing the company responsible for Mr. Beast Burger as fans report revolting food quality. In November 2020, Mr. Beast partnered with Virtual Dining Concepts, a company that specializes in ghost kitchens, to open a chain of Mr. Beast branded fast food virtual restaurants. However, over the several years of Mr. Beast Burger's existence, the burger chain has received a sea of complaints from fans as customers received subpar quality food, which at times was still raw. Now, that's, that's, that's something that should never happen. Ever. Okay? Because the one thing you expect when you go into a restaurant is that the food is cooked. That it isn't raw. And the fact that it's raw is very bad. Due to complaints, Mr. Beast is now suing virtual dining concepts for their quality control problems as first reported by Bloomberg. Customers have referred to the burgers as being disgusting, revolting, and inedible. The lawsuit says of the negative reviews that Mr. Beast Burger has received. There are thousands of negative reviews, articles, and comments from people who are deeply disappointed by the fact that Mr. Beast would put his name on this product, the lawsuit reads. Because the entire business is based on the tremendous global value of the Mr. Beast brand, it is Mr. Beast himself and not virtual dining concepts who has borne the brunt of the justified attacks and criticism. Included is the point Mr. Beast allegedly has not received payments as of yet. To be clear, while this business has made millions of dollars, Mr. Beast has not received a dime the lawsuit claims. The lawsuit includes hundreds of exhibits of reviews and evidence from videos by H3H3 and Eddie Burback to average fans documenting the subpar food quality across social media and dozens of news reports on the issue. So like, apparently Mr. Beast hasn't even gotten paid. Like Mr. Beast Burger has made like over a hundred million dollars. And the guy who's like on uh, on the restaurant, who's like name is in the damn name in, in the, the restaurant name is not getting a dime. He hasn't received any of the money and he's getting all this backlash. He's getting the brunt of all of it, which I will say is it's justified. It, it is justified backlash because he did partner with these people. He trusted them and they they didn't, they, they didn't
they didn't follow through and because of that mr beast fans they got harmed because of that and you know maybe he he, he wasn't like the necessarily the one behind it all but he still greenlit it so he does face some sort of responsibility there and i'm sure even he will admit to that but still it, it sucks that he he's just getting completely screwed over because of this i would like a formal apology beast burger was not good and now i'm sad and mr beast would respond to that by saying yeah it's impossible to guarantee the quality of orders with virtual restaurants hurts my soul to see orders messed up sadly i can't get out of my deal with mr beast burger hence why i'm never giving up control of feastables so i can always do what's best for my fans harsh lesson to learn now i will say you know he has learned his lesson and, and it's good to to learn lessons and, and stuff but like i mean people are getting food poisoning dude people are are eating raw food it's that the the type of lesson that you want to be learning that you want to put on to your fans to have to deal with you know i'm sure it sucks for him i'm sure it sucks to to have his name attached to this shit. three days later i i recently talked about how mr beast was suing mr beast burger or, or the company behind it because of the awful service and how garbage the company was and the fact that they weren't paying him apparently they, they didn't pay him the money that he was owed and so many people so many fans were complaining about the quality of the food several youtubers made made videos reviewing the food and just kind of exposing the the truth about these like ghost kitchens and it made mr beast look really bad like it hurt his brand extremely bad and he said he couldn't get out of his contract and so mr beast decided that he was gonna sue the company behind mr beast burger but it looks like now that same company is trying to sue mr beast back they're like uno reverse we're gonna sue you mr beast sued for 100 million dollars by mr beast burger over disparaging comments so th th they're like going for his entire net worth 100 mil like that shit's insane on june 17th youtuber mr beast revealed he'd be moving on from his mr beast burger restaurants in order to shift focus to his venture in the snack business with his chocolate bar brand feastables the move came just after two years after he partnered with virtual dining concepts launching over 2,000 ghost kitchen to make beast burger available nationwide across the united states as first reported by Bloomberg, Mr. Beast has since filed a lawsuit against the company for their quality control problems, with customers labeling the food as disgusting, revolting, and inedible. Furthermore, the YouTube star claimed he's yet to receive payments from the company. Meanwhile, the business has made millions of dollars. In return, Virtual Dining Concepts hit back at the suit claiming the complaint is riddled with false statements and inaccuracies, and has now filed a, a, for a counter lawsuit failing to honor his contractual obligations. So this is why he's being sued. They've labeled his lawsuit as meritless, ill-advised, and claimed the YouTuber had breached his agreement with the company before attempting to negotiate a new deal to serve his own monetary interests. This this is, this is seems shady already. This seems very shady. I'm, I'm Team Mr. Beast all the way seems like these guys tricked them into signing some shitty ass contract and agreement according to variety virtual dining concepts has now responded with a nine-figure lawsuit damages caused by the youtube star are alleged to exceed a hundred million this case is about a social media celebrity who believes his fame means that his word does not matter and that the facts do not matter and that he can re re-enge and breach his contract obligations without consequence the suit reads he is mistaken the lawsuit contains examples of deleted tweets from the youtuber making disparaging comments about both Beast Burger and BBC. With him saying he has more control over the quality of the product, Mr. Beast has begun focusing more on Feastables. Recently, the brand officially made its way into UK stores and has been flying off the shelf since. So, I mean, that is fucked up. It just seems like, it just seems like corporate, the corporate company doing what corporate companies do. They're trying to screw him over. They're trying to steal his money. They're, they're trying to like wiggle their way out of this. I hope he wins. I really hope he wins. I hope he sues the fuck out of these people for everything that they're worth. So, Hopefully, Mr. Beast is able to to sue that company and, and just get rid of Mr. Beast Burger and get his money back. And hopefully, find a way to make it up to his fans that had a subpar experience. I mean, I will say my experience with Feastables has been great. I think uh, he's done a great job with, with the Feastables. I mean, the chocolate's good. It's not raw. Well, although I guess it is raw. I don't... Can, is, is chocolate raw or is it technically cooked whatever i i haven't had any i haven't gotten food poisoning from from the mr beast chocolate and it just sucks that that his restaurant that was so insanely successful and like kind of revolutionized like brand deals and what youtubers are able to do is just as shitty as it is you know i never got to try it i wanted to try it but i i, I never got to and i'm pretty sure they, they recently um like they, they've done several collabs with other people like dream carl like the whole mr beast crew and i mean it looks like mr beast burger is probably not going to be around for very long if uh if i had to make an educated guess on things mm -hmm.